How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Build with me, your host, that Dom guy. You can call me Dom. What we're going to be doing in this series of videos is we're going to be attempting to build a creation from scratch in the game Trailmakers by Flashbulb Games. Let's get to work. All right, in this episode, I think we are going to be building us a hovercraft. We're going to actually try and build a... I know in the, the second video, I believe it was, where we built like a hover jet, uh, like a hybrid. That was kind of a off the beaten path. But hey, you never know, right? We're going to start with a hover jet. We could end up with a semi-truck and trailer. But, but, yeah, probably not. So, here we go. Let's get to work. We're going to start with, we do not want an aquatic seat, but we're going to want something quick, so let's go with our jet seat. Having no aquatic seat is great motivation to not wind up in the water. Alright, we're going to start with our seat here. We are going to go with a frame. We're going to start with a simple frame until something comes into my imagination that's going to spark me to go in a certain direction. So, because we want some stability, we're going to go with a little bit of width here. Automatically put some hinges on the end. Because we want to keep our outside hovers slightly angled upwards. For example, putting these on like this. We are going to set these to green. We'll use our trusted number one. We'll toggle those. Eventually those will be put onto a sensor. So as soon as it spawns in and it sees the ground or at an altitude. Or we could even put them on a permanent uh, sensor that's facing something so that it's always on. So we're going to set those to 0.1 for speed, no need to jerk things around. Uh, let's go 10 degrees. And they will hold position, so no matter if we hit number one again, they will not undo. Strength 100, okay, that's all good like that. So we're going to copy these back. And another thing with hovercraft is you don't want to go too, too short. Kind of like a plane in the sense that you want to try and keep your stability going in one direction hard enough to control hovercraft without having it with a really short wheelbase or a, a really short frame, a tall frame or a top heavy frame. It's just going to end up giving you control issues. Okay, so we want to make sure that these are still up, green, up, up to green. There we go. That one's good. That one's good. That's set to one. That's set to one. Okay, let's spawn that in. Jump in the seat. Hit number one. These should angle up. See, that's what we're looking for is it kind of puts us basically in a little pocket. So that's a good start. That's a great start. Now we can look at this and we can decide, okay, well, what do we want to do for style? So what we want to do, what I want to do anyways, is I want to move this. I want to move the seat back. We'll move these back up to the front. Lock this. So now we've got kind of a sporty car effect feel. So where are we going to go from here? So we can put some angles on the front, obviously, obliviously. Uh, as far as how we're going to come out here, maybe do we want to go with a four? Lock this and lock that. And maybe a wedge, a big wedge, uh, a four or a three or a uh, go with a four. Go with something like that. Then those bottom pieces don't really make that much sense. So we'll get rid of those. Uh, let's try putting a bit of step action. So we'll go to our blocks here, grab the almighty deuce, put a deuce in there, and a deuce over here. Then we're going to grab our slope, this one, this angled piece, very useful piece. Bring it up like this. Then we're going to copy it out, set it in like that. Give us a nice toothed front end, but that will be extremely aerodynamic. I must say. Like that, and back like that. It would have looked better if that was out even one more. You know it. You know it. So we'll bring that one like that. And let's see, what can we put in there? That would be a great place for... Uh, so I want to put a helicopter engine in there. Like that. And we'll get rid of the controls on that right away so that it's not spinning us around. 
Now we can use that for steering or stabilizing. We copy another one out to the back. So that doesn't have any controls on it. That's all fine and dandy. And we also have to watch for weight. So let's start adding a bit of thrust to this thing. We want to make it go. Uh, now I normally try and keep these control or these connection points here on the outside. So we want to go very, very fast. So we'll, let's put three on this side. They look better spaced out. Maybe, maybe. And then we'll copy them over to this side. Those will already be at space by default. So we'll leave them there. And let's build that in. Do we still hover? Number one, space bar. Doing 300 kilometers an hour. We have no steering except for seat steering. But see, at least again with the hovercraft with those angled hover pads, at least when you're turning like this, your hover pads still stay level to the ground. They don't get weird behavior if they're at a 90 degree angle to the ground and you start leaning like this, then they'll start acting weird. Okay, and we're out of the sight of the land and we are still gaining speed. Almost up to 320. Let's see what happens if I pull back. Oh, there's land over there. Okay, you know how to get there quicker? Hit the backspace button. Ta-da! I warped here. Warp 10. Okay, back into build mode. Okay, so that seems to work pretty good that way, but there's still, we could make this thing go so much faster. So much. So, let's see what happens if we take these. Can we, do we have enough room to bring it in here? That's as close as we can get in there. How many of these can we fit in here? Just these two. Okay, so if we go with something like that, and then we can fill this void on the side, something similar to that. And then we'll copy all this to this side. Ta-da! So now we should have super hover abilities. Number one will bring those up for angle. Should be no chance of us winding up in the drink unless we come to a stop. So we still need some steering. And to Ooh, 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 and to finish out the body. So, what we're going to do here, need to fill in these gaps in here. Get rid of the aerodynamics there. See, if we hit the aerodynamics tab, we'll see that see, in front here where we've got blank spots. The green on these, in front of these thrusters here, isn't as green as this, and they're moving kind of slow. So, we want, we want to definitely try and get rid of this green and brighten up or get rid of the red, sorry, and brighten up the green on these. All right, so how we're gonna do that, you see? Well, we're gonna start by copying this up to here. Bring it down like this. There's no connection point on the front portion, so it won't interact or interfere with our helicopter engine. And then we've only got a single here. Can't use a two, a two by two wedge because they don't have connection points on the side. Here we go with the mighty deuce again. Put a deuce standing up right there. Copy to this side. And then we'll grab our one by two slope. Drop it right down in front like that. Ta-da! And you'll notice the difference. Watch the difference when we uh, go back out over the water. Okay, now let's see what difference that makes in speed wise with just those pieces. Number one, let's turn this way a wee bit, and go. 100, 200, 300, 320. Do I hear a 340? Can I get a 340? Can I get a 340? No? Can't get a 340? Come on, 333? Sold to the guy with the unfinished hovercraft. We really need steering. But we need to finish out the body first. Alright. So we got that like that. The front end's okay. We need to do something about the front of these hovers. I mean, we could take this. And copy it out like this. And that doesn't look quite right. Maybe it would be better if we try and incorporate this look in the front of the hover pads here too. That might actually be able to, yes. And for the sake of symmetry, we'll move these out. I don't think we'll be able to do the same thing here. 
because it will connect onto there and this one don't move but this one does so we're gonna need to keep that out like that and then we're gonna put a one by two lock this copy it to the other side uh, um, and, um, and, um, we might as well we can probably get rid of those and just swap it out with a two by four keep our piece count down Okay, now we've got stabilizers as far as helicopter engines front and back. So we need a sensor somewhere that is going to keep those activated at maximum speed. So we'll go like this. Don't need any controls on them because that's going to be sensor activated. And we can put the sensor right behind the seat here. So it sees the seat. And we'll put, well, doesn't matter if it sees that because we've got to put some aerodynamics in front of it anyways. Ta-da! This connects to this and this. And we might as well make it connect to this and this and this and this. So our hinges will go automatically. So now we can, seeing how those are the only hinges, we'll double click on those. And those no longer need controls. Now we're gonna need to fill this gap. So how much room? We only got a two. We might be able to use our fours in there. Walk this. Okay, so we do have some flat surface here that we could put something over top. I wonder how this would look. What if we took a four and put it over top like that? Yeah, back here it might look better. See, I was thinking like this, and then copy one like this. Let's see how far back can that go. One, and this one goes back. So even if we went three, so then we can take our one by fours like this, and fill in this gap on either side. Oh, rotate right round. That's kind of flat looking, eh? It's not too bad at all. So now we've got a wee bit of shape back here where, I mean, okay, let's take it in the water. Let's have a look. Sensor is working. Stabilizers. We still don't have steering. Oh, look at that. 430. It's amazing what a bit of aerodynamics will do for you, eh? We get to 450 when we're banking. 448, 449. Four! Oh, God! Come on, come on! 450! Bada boom! Nice. I don't like not being able to steer, so let's put steering on it, eh? So, I mean, we could put a, a, a hinge on the back here with a fin on it, which is going to give us steering left and right. The problem with that is, is that it is going to rotate us way too much from the back. It's not like we're a boat, we have resistance on the bottom from the water. Uh, this thing is just gonna try and flip if we try and steer it that way. So the best way to steer a hovercraft where you're not touching anything, you're all say, say it with me now. Helicopter engine, there you go. So anywhere we wanna stick this thing, it's gonna have the desired effect. So even if we were to put it up there, well, that's not the greatest spot for it. Where does a good spot to stack this? Could put it right down here like that and then set this to a and d and leave it at five and then just spawn in like this and turn left and right nope i've got them reversed 50 50 chance a and d because depending on whether you're using the connection points on the top or the connection points of the actual rotating metal piece you're going to have different controls all right so left right yeah, five seems about good. It might seem a little overpowered when you're not moving, but at 400 kilometers an hour, you're gonna need something with a little more oomph to actually make you turn. So the front end seems to drop a little bit here as we're going, so we can either deal with that by lowering our thrusters. And again, ooh, don't go too slow, man. We still have no stabilizers on here either, right? So we're just kind of drifting at the moment. So the front, we can either 
lift that up a bit by lowering the thrusters. Or we can put some spoilers on the back. I think spoilers will look better. Oh, we're going to be too slow. No, okay, we got enough power that we can keep ourselves moving. Nice. Yeah, I think some spoilers on the back will definitely help. This would be a good spot to put spoilers, I think. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Yoast like that. So that is going to spin. Uh, I just want to take a little bit of a upside down slope here. Turn it upside down so there's nothing rubbing on this. Just to give us a little bit more racy, racy look. This would be a good spot, I think, to put our stabilizers on the end of our spoilers. Spoilers right there like that. Do we want them all up forward like that? Or do we want to move them all the way back like that? Yeah, that might be too much weight in the back. Yeah, let's keep them up to the front. Yes, and then as far as horizontal stabilizers, well, we could go with a couple of small ones. We don't really need them overly, overly. Uh, leave slope forward like that. Sure, why not? Okay, let's see if those keep our front end up a little bit more. They're definitely trying. Well, look at that. Well, look at that. All right, that's not too bad. See, like, we can barely turn now at this point. This is how fast I can turn. I'm holding it down. So we might even need to strengthen that uh, steering engine a wee bit more. Let off on the gas so we can actually turn. Let's get back to the land. Yeah, we definitely got to make that helicopter engine a little stronger. Maybe up to seven. Let's do that. So we'll set this up to seven. It wasn't too bad for lift, but we still could use a wee bit more, either a little bit more weight in the back or less weight in the front. We can't really manipulate anything in the front. Let's, uh, I want to take care of, I see connection points. We have to cover them up with something. And I don't know, what do we actually have enough room to? Oh, we can't do that. We cannot do that. Because it's connected to this and it's going to go up and it's it won't go up because it's connected to that. Like this. Like that. Go opposite. Instead of angled in, and we'll have them angling, angling out. Get out of there. What are you doing in there? Okay, something like that. It's not bad. Let's see what it looks like if we, uh, can I add a stabilizer there, will it? Yeah, that's not going to go up though. That's, that's going to crash, bang, boom. I just know it. I know it. Unless I do like this. Once it's in, see how they angle up a bit like that. Test our steering. Okay, we have much better steering. See, the nice thing with the helicopter engine, it gives you the torque flat on that plane that you're turning on. It doesn't try and flip you up or down, it just keeps you turning left or right on that flat plane. Right, that's where it applies the torque. So, for something like a hovercraft, that's great because we have those slight angled pieces. Our hovers are on angles, that as well gives us a little bit of leaning ability without the hovers getting dipping down into the water. So, 370, 380 kilometers an hour. Uh-oh, here's the land. It's all right, we're designed for land. We can still steer in the air. We'll try and keep the nose up. And we're able to still land on the water. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Decent control. Decent hoverage. Looks pretty cool too. You can race through areas like this without having to worry about hitting land. Do a little bob and weave. If you're into weaving and bobbing, go around the island. There you go. Now this is Race Island. See if you can do the impossible. And race through here. Oh, and that's why it's called impossible. 
Oh, in the rock. Oh, on the rock. Nice, nice. Can we actually do this? Of course we can. Don't be ridiculous. Go to the land. Go to the lands. Go, go, little man. Swim. Swim, little man. Swim. All right, there you go. Get in there. Off you go. Might need to crank up that steering even just a little bit more. Just so we're not smashing into stuff. Hey, well, you know what? We I think we could make this thing a little bit faster. Just a wee bit faster. We got rid of this slope and replaced it with this one and, and, and these ones. Like this. This way. We have a very much F1 race car looking type kind of things here. Probably goes very fast. Could we move these out maybe one more like this? We could do that. So we just gotta fill in those little spots there. And of course we all know Almighty Zeus is the one for this. It works in so many places. Okay, so now we're gonna give it some style and some color. What going to be made of? Maybe this weird organic material. And maybe like skin color? No, this is not right. Uh, maybe red? Maybe black. Ooh. Maybe it's black and the white. Ooh, this looks weird. What do you think? Maybe solid black? Maybe metal black? If we go blacks and we add accent color stripe, where are we going to put stripe? I'm going to put stripe... I want to make these ones. This, 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 in the mindy mini mo, and we're going to make these ones bright color, and maybe maybe bright blue like this. Looks fast already. So now we select other pieces. Okay, this is horrible. Always start from the top. If you're selecting up something up here, these control things here are just going to get in your way. So always start at selecting at the top so you can work your way down. So we're going to select those, and those are going to be the same. Super bright, super bright blue like this. And now we need to tie this in a little bit, so maybe we're going to make these ones down here. Same bright, like this, is for tying this piece. And then maybe, uh, maybe we give these accent color like this. We can make these glow. These are not glowing pieces, but maybe accent color like this helps to tie in the back end see so that looked pretty fast let's see how that look on the water now we change front end a little bit hopefully it's not too heavy three fifty up to four hundred we got four hundred can I get 400? We got 400. Sold! To the guy in the black and blue! Steering is still a little bit slow. It's not too bad for steering at top speed, though. I don't like the, the way it zips back like that. See, we're not too bad. We can go left and right. What's that in disguise? Aliens up there. Oh, it's the sign. Ah! Welcome to the rock. We're gonna build a prison here and call it Alcatraz. Okay, go fast. Go very fast. N no, it's not submarines. I think we got ourselves a hovercraft. We're just gonna call it black and blue. So there's the basics of a hovercraft, guys. 350, 400 kilometer an hour hovercraft. Hope that helped you guys out with your builds. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.